So today the webinar is on the Google Drive app for both phones and tablets, as well as Apple and or Android devices. So what is Google Drive? So Google Drive is a cloud-based platform used to store your digital files. You can create, edit, save, and share documents, pictures, and more. And Google Drive includes Google Docs, Google Slides, Google Sheets, Google Forms, as well as Google Photos. So there's lots to do on Google. So to access Google Drive, it is downloadable and accessible across all devices and operating systems. So that's whether you have Apple or Android, it's compatible with everything. It connects all of your devices using your Google account and will automatically sync your device so that all of your files as well as information will be updated to the cloud. Um, it can be downloaded on mobile devices as well as desktops. So either tablets, phones, and computers, laptops, anything, you can always access Google Drive. Um, it can also be accessed through a web browser instead of downloading the app. You can just search it up on Google and it will come up. And a lot of the time people need to work on the go. So having Google Drive on your smartphone and or tablet will help with that. So you firstly, if you would like to download the app, it is um, on Apple devices. You can just open the app store and search on Google Drive. And on Android devices, um, it should already be pre-installed. And if it's not, or if you accidentally deleted it, you just open the Google Play and search for Google Drive. And then the little pictures beside the words are just what it should look like when you search for Google Drive. So now getting started on the app. So on your Apple or Android device, you can find and open the Google Drive app and then sign into your Google account. And then in the My Drive section, you will see files and folders you uploaded or synced onto your phone or tablet or whatever you are using. And you can also see Google Docs, Sheets and Slides you can then create. So a little note is that Apple and Android apps may look a little bit different. And if you're sw switching from a Microsoft Word to a Google Drive, you have to make sure that all of the documents that you wish to have in the future are saved to your device instead of just to Microsoft Word because they're just two different apps. So you would have to save them onto your phone as a file and then re-upload them to your Google account. So, um, navigating the app on a tablet or phone, you will see a menu bar and there are a few different options. So you will see home, which is where you start out when you first open the app. Um, starred is just the files you have marked as important files and that's where they will be stored. So the shared files and folders have been shared with you by other people, which we will get into a little bit later. And files is a list of all of your Google Drive files and folders. So again, the picture right beside the words are all, it's a screenshot from the homepage from an Android device. So that is what it should look like coming from an Android. So this is again, just navigating the app. Um, there's four horizontal lines in the top left hand corner. And if you tap on that with your finger, um, it'll open up more options. So that's where you can see all of your recent files, all of your deleted files. That's where you can change your settings and see how much storage you are currently using. So Google Drive itself offers 15 gigabytes of free storage, which is shared across all of the Google Suite platforms, which is what I was saying earlier about how there's multiple different um, sites that you can use in Google. Um, and you can also buy more storage if you would wish to. Again, more navigating the app. So you can tap on the search bar up on the top of the screen um, and you can write or search up for whatever folder or file that you are looking for. So if you just remember the name of what you set it as, um, you can tap on the notifications to see the status updates or if anyone has made any changes to your shared documents or if something has been shared with you. So if you tap on your profile up at the top right hand corner, um, you can access your account information. So that's where you can add another account or manage the accounts on your device. So to upload or create files, you can upload files from your phone or tablet 
or you can create files in Google Drive. First, you would tap the big plus button. Normally it's located somewhere down on the bottom, whether that's in the middle or if that's the bottom right-hand side, but right beside it, that's it's a colorful plus sign, like the Google colors. Um, to upload a file from your phone or tablet, you just click on file upload or to create a new document, click on the type of file you would wish to create, whether that's a doc, sheet, or slides. They're on the bottom hand side there. So to view files, you can view one of your projects. You just simply tap on it. Um, note that you can only view your projects from the Google Drive app, but in order to make any edits, you must download the separate app. So if you tap on a Google Doc and you wish to edit it, um, it should pop up or it should bring you to an app store automatically and just makes you install it. Everything in Google's, like in the Google things, they're all free. So once the additional apps pop up, then you download them and then you will automatically be redirected from Google Drive to one of those apps when you wish to edit your projects. And you should also automatically be signed in as well because it's your Google account. So to edit files, using the Google Docs app and the other Google Suite apps will be much as the same as on a computer, except the screen will be a lot smaller and some of the features that you will usually see on the computer will just have different locations. So to start, start typing on a document, you simply just tap on the screen where you would like to type and your keyboard on your phone or tablet will appear. And you can still format the text, whether that's bolding it, uh, you can change the font size, change colors, et cetera. That will all also be an option there. And if you made a mistake or you just wanna delete something, you can either click the undo button to take back your last action or just hit the delete key on your keyboard. And the doc will automatically save as long as you are connected to the internet. So for sharing documents, um, in addition to creating or uploading your own documents, you can also share them with groups of people. To do this, you check on the box next to the fold file or folder you would like to share. Click on the share icon on the type top right hand side of the screen. Or you can click on, if it's an Android device specifically, you can click on the more menu and then select share. Um, you can then add a person's email you wish to send it to, that you wish to send it to. You can either choose to make them a viewer where you can see the file, but you cannot make any changes or an editor. So you can see the file as well as make changes. You can also share documents to anyone who has access to the link by copying, pasting it into a message or a text message more specifically, or also an email. And then you can send it to whoever you like that way. So then lastly, if you would like to access your files when you are on the go and you're not connected to the internet, you can make your files available offline. To do this, you would click on the three dots beside the file you would like to make offline and then click on the available offline option. This means that you can still access and work on your files even if you're not connected to Wi-Fi or you do not have cellular data. Okay. So now it is time for the live demo. So to access the app, you would just click on the App Store. I am using an Apple device, so I am on an Apple App Store. And then you would click on the search icon at the top or at the bottom right hand side. Click on search and then just search up Google Drive. And then search. And because I already have the app, it is automatically downloaded, but this is what it should look like. And then you would just click on um, download, but because I already have it, I'm just gonna swipe away. So here's my Google Drive. So usually when you first download the app, it will automatically make you sign in. Um, it's, it's just whatever you would use as your email, and then you would make up a password for it. So here, it is. So here's on the bottom right hand or on the bottom left hand side, I am on the home page. So there's just a, many files that I've been working on. And then I don't have anything starred, but this is where all of your uh, files or folders that you would make important. This would be where they are stored. And then for the shared documents, I do have something shared already with me. And then over here is just files more. Here's just 
every file. So there's all uh, different PDFs, which are actually pictures. There's more Google Docs, which I am a student. So it's mainly all just work that I've been doing. And then I have this presentation that I just gave on Google Slides. So going back to the homepage. So to start a new project, you would just click on the bottom right side, the plus bar. And then here's the, this was on the screenshot in the presentation. So I can upload a folder, I can upload a picture, I can take a picture, but I'm not going to be doing any of that. I'm going to click on Google Docs at the bottom left-hand side. It's gonna ask me to name the document. I'm just going to name it test and then create. So here's what it should look like. You can type out whatever you want. I will say, hello, <laughs> there's that. And then here is the option to, you just tap right beside the word that you typed, tap on select. And then here is where you can bold it. You can underline it, change the color if you want to. You can do anything you'd like there. Um, for more options on how to change the font, you would click on this A over in the top. And then here is where there's like size, different font styles, anything you want, it's right here. Um, if you click on the plus up at the top, then you can find more things to insert. So a page number, a table, that's where you can insert an image as well. Um, and then here the, the, on the top right-hand side, these three dots, this is where you will find most of the information that you will need. So the share and export, which is the fourth from the bottom, I'm going to click on that. And then there's many different options. This, uh, the, the second to the bottom, the save as Word document, um, that's where you would save it to your phone. And then that saves as a downloadable item, which is then you can move it around and use it however you would like. So when you tap on the very top, the share option, this is where you can add people's emails or anyone who has access to it. That's how you can do that. And then, yeah, um, if I go, if I exit out again, it automatically saves down here. And then if I were to click on the three dots on the right hand side of that document, this is where you can find, again, mainly the same things that were in the three dots in the document as well as the available offline option. And this is automatically available offline, but I just took it off available online. And then just to put it on again, you would just click, click on the make available offline. And then, yeah. Um, so to create a folder, I have to go back to drive, um, click on the plus again, and then click on folder, which was on the top left-hand side. And then I'm just gonna name it test folder again, and then tap on create. And now that the folder is created, it should pop up down at the bottom there. I can access the folder, so go to files, um, then here it is. And I can add, I can move things into this folder if I would like to. So I made up the folder already by doing the plus button, and then I clicked on the folder option. So there is my folder. And then to move a document into that folder, I'm just going to click the three dots on the right-hand side of whatever document I would like to move there. And then if you scroll down, then you can see all of these options. I'm going to click on the move option. And then you would, um, if you want to, you can move it to your actual computer or your, that just means your device, but I'm going to select my drive. And then if you have multiple folders, they should all come up here, but I only have that one folder. So I'm going to click on the folder and then down on the top right hand side, the move here option. So now when I click on the folder, there are the two um, documents that I have moved into that folder. I'm just going to give another example. So if I go back to the home page and I showed how to make a um, Google or Google Doc, but if I were to click the plus again and then click on Google Slides, because I have the app, I was just completely redirected onto Google Slides. 
And then I am just going to repeat the same process with the naming the presentation and then tapping the create button. And then here's what a Google Slides should look like right when you start. And then to type something on, you would just do exactly what the screen says and just double tap. And then you can just type whatever you wish to. And then down on the top right hand side would be how to add another slide on and you can choose what it should look like and then it will appear there. So yeah, that is how you make a presentation.